big news coming out of practice today for the Montreal Canadiens as Big Joe Edmondson was back on the ice with his team. Look at him. Oh, it's him. And he's back on the menu. From what I've been reading, he was wearing a regular jersey. He was paired up with Caden Gooley, who was also wearing a regular jersey. And according to Eric Ingalls, while they haven't been given the green light to play just yet, this could change as early as tomorrow, meaning, of course, that they could play against San Jose. And this is some pretty wild stuff, you know, because on one hand, it's going to be nice to see Caden Gooley get back into the lineup as he's been sore missed and on the other hand the slightly damaged hand according to Darren Dreger the Edmonton Oilers are still kicking the tires on old Edmondson this trade could still go down according to Dreger and just the fact that you know he made this comment earlier today and then out of nowhere Edmondson was back on the ice like it was some kind of a miracle not even wearing a no contact jersey it all seems a little suspicious to me. I don't know. I'm just saying. Keep your eye out because Holland is crazy, man. He's crazy. Now, it's also worth pointing out that newcomer Dennis Gurianov was also at practice today. Here's a little clip of him meeting his new teammates. Look at that. Shaking hands with Honda Civic. Must have been an honor. God. And not only was he enjoying his first practice with his new team today, but check out these lines. Gurianov, welcome to the Montreal Canadiens. He's going to be playing a alongside Nick Suzuki and Mike Hoffman on the top line. Yes, you heard that right. I thought this was pretty cool. We're going to get to see what Gurionov can do right away. It's a good move by Marty St. Louis. And I also thought it was kind of funny seeing Mike Hoffman up there. I mean, it almost feels like they're just dangling Mike Hoffman around in front of the league right now. Like he's some kind of a piece of meat. And it makes me wonder if a team is actually going to come knocking for him. Now, as for the rest of the lines, Johnny Drouin was center and Raphael Harvey Bedard, everybody's favorite. And Josh Anderson on the second line, which is also a new one. Then we had Christian Dvorak between Rim Pitlick and Jesse Alonim for a third line. And finally, Chris Tierney is going to be centering Mike Opposita and Alex Belzia for the fourth line. Pretty wild stuff. So who really knows what's going to happen over the next couple of days. I still personally think that it's going to be a bit of a quiet trade deadline for Montreal. But hey, you just, you never know. Especially now, with Darren Drager just dropping bombs out of nowhere. But let me know what you think about all this down in the comment section. Are you happy to see Guriana play on the first line right away? Because I know I am. Also, do you think it's a little suspicious that, you know, the Oilers are supposedly interested in Edmondson again and he's back? Huh? Huh? I want to hear all about it. Don't forget to poke the like button in the eyes before you leave here, you little grasshoppers. And hey, I'll see you next time.